with Get Fit Now. And today I want to share with you what Dustin and I are packing when we're headed canoeing. Now, what I'm going to be showing you today is going to give you some ideas of stuff you can take if you're going hiking, canoeing, or if you're going to be going to the lake this summer. So obviously, we've got our pool towels ready to go. We've also packed hats. We've got Dustin's hat, and of course my hat has a monogram on it. That way we're keeping our face protected, and my hat's also going to keep my shoulders protected from the sun. I've got my sunglasses ready to go. We've also packed our sunscreen. So we've got 60 SPF that we're going to be taking. I have the Clean and Clear Neutrogena face sunscreen. I love this stuff. It doesn't cause breakouts and it doesn't burn my face when you start to sweat, which is very important. For some reason, my crazy husband thinks that he's going to be using um, 15 toning dry oil spray. So he picked this up. I hate to break it to him, but if he uses this, he's going to be a lobster in about 20 seconds tomorrow, but we'll see. Now we've also packed two liters of water each. We're going to probably bring a third liter with us in the car because we really want to make sure that we're staying hydrated while we're on the water tomorrow. So we've got our cooler that will fill up with ice in the morning. We'll put our water in there. Um, we've also got two different snack options that we're going to be bringing with us. So we've got fresh fruit. I love bringing fresh fruit. That way it's not a really heavy snack and you're still going to feel really good and lean. And it also is kind of refreshing when you're hot and sweaty and you're out and about. So we're going to pack up some cantaloupe and we've also packed some plums. Now watermelon would be another great fruit that you could cut up and take with you. And we also have some organic trail mix. Now here's the key to picking out a good trail mix. You want to make sure that you don't get a trail mix that has any sort of chocolate in it and you don't want a trail mix that's going to be adding a lot of sugar. So the trail mix that we picked out has some cashews, almonds, pistachios, and a little bit of raisins in there as well. Now for lunch, Dustin's going to be making some tuna. So we're going to post that recipe on our YouTube channel later this evening. So he's going to pack himself up some tuna. He'll probably add a little bit of brown rice for, to give him a little bit of boost and some energy and some black beans. Now what I'm going to be making is I'm going to be making my famous superfood salad. And I'm also going to be sharing this video with you later on this evening. So make sure you check out our YouTube channel within the next hour. So for my superfood salad, some of my ingredients are lettuce. I use edamame, unsalted slivered almonds organic blueberries, and some great tomatoes. And I also have a few other ingredients that I already had in the house that I didn't have to pick up. Now, one other snack item that I'm gonna show you that we did grab is we grabbed these little hummus pods. So there's one serving of hummus in here, and there's also some salted pretzels on the top. Now, normally Dustin and I are not a fan of adding like salted pretzels or any sort of pita chips when we're eating hummus. Typically, we'll do something like broccoli or carrots to dip our hummus in, but tomorrow we are going to be canoeing for probably four hours, so a little bit of carbs aren't going to kill us. We might need the energy boost. So what you see here is, like I said, you could take this with you if you're going canoeing, if you're going hiking, or if you're going to be spending a day at the beach or on the lake. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You should see the link below. We post videos all the time sharing great recipes with you and fitness tips. So I hope you have a great evening.